In today's episode of Hello Road, I'm going to make some small upgrades to my 400,000 mile Porsche 944 Turbo. Hey everybody, Ethan here. Welcome to Hello Road. So in today's episode, I'm gonna take some time and try to make some upgrades to my 400,000 mile Porsche 944 Turbo. Now this is a 1986 model. It's seen a lot of miles, it's seen a lot of years, and it's got quite a few issues. So today I'm gonna to see if I can pinpoint a few of the small ones and address them. There's also kind of a bigger issue. It needs tires. I kind of ruined them filming my last video. They're pretty bad. Check this out. <laughs> So yes, most importantly, it needs new tires. I actually just ordered a set of Firestone Indies that I'm gonna throw on this thing, and hopefully they'll last a little bit longer than the Kumho's that were on this car. These are great sticky tires for back road fun, but they didn't last very long at all. So looking around the car, you know, it's, it's in pretty decent shape, but there's a couple small things that I wanna try to address today. I wanna go in here and see if I can finally fix this door panel that's really loose. That's no good. You actually have to shut the door by the frame, which is really annoying, so see if I can fix that too. And then finally back here, you can see right down here, that's where a windshield wiper for the big hatch would be, but it was removed at some point and there's just a big hole in the glass. So I've just taped that over for now, but I'm going to see if I can find a nicer way to clean that up. Okay, first order of business, let's get these wheels and tires off this car. I'm actually just gonna bring them over to the shop and get them mounted because I don't really wanna be driving the car with corded tires like that. And luckily I have a set of spare wheels and tires that I can throw on just temporarily. Right here's the extra set of rims. It's actually a really nice set of BBS wheels. What do you think? So I've actually grown to like the phone dials, but these basket weaves, they, they look pretty rad on this car, don't they? Look at that, there's no tread left on this thing. I'm lucky that's still holding air. All right, so I'll round up these phone dials, go get our new tires mounted, and then maybe while I'm out, I'll see if I can find some hardware that can tidy up this little hole right here. So it turns out I've got cheap lug nuts. Even though I was putting them on really carefully, I managed to cross thread a few of these things. So somehow I've ruined three lug nuts. So I gotta go run out and buy three more lug nuts. Okay, so the fresh rubber is mounted. I was all looking forward to getting this thing on a Canyon Road to test these tires out, but I gotta take care of these lug nuts first. So now I'm off to the auto parts store to take care of that. And while I'm there, I'll see if I can find something to try to get this eucalyptus sap off of this paint, because uh, there's some dark spots on here that just do not wanna come off. Okay, so I bought some cheapo lug nuts from AutoZone. This is all they had. And then I bought some super cheap bug and tar remover to see if that gets the uh, stains off the paint. I'm not gonna go with some fancy stuff. I'm gonna try the cheap stuff first. Okay, so these won't match, but at least it's something to hold my wheel on. I guess my other ones didn't match anyway. I'd say for a 400,000 mile car, that's good enough. All right, next up, let's see if I can tackle this door panel. First step is to figure out what exactly is going on here. So I found this screw just right down here. I'm hoping that this is just the screw that goes in here and this will be a simple fix. That does not look like it's the correct screw. Oh, look at this. There's another screw hanging out in here. Maybe this is the screw. <laughs> yep, that's it. All right, so there's a missing screw there, there, and there. So, oh, and there's another screw missing here too. And then I'm hoping that these little pieces will just kind of snap back into place. I'm gonna try the number 10 by 5 eighths of an inch. I think this is the one, we'll see. That seems to have done the trick. I think that's actually gonna work. It's not perfect because this plastic clip is broken off, but at least you can hold this. Door's not coming apart. Very excited. All right, let's see. What do you think? Is this gonna come flying off? Awesome, it is fixed. Simple, cheap fix. 
I'm quite excited that there were very few broken clips on that door panel. I was able to solve it with less than a dollar's worth of screws. Now, yes, this is not a complicated project. This is something incredibly simple, but sometimes little simple fixes like that, little cheap fixes can bring a ton of satisfaction. So yeah, I just fixed a door panel, big deal, but it's gonna really make driving this car a whole lot nicer. Okay, now let's try to sort out this hole that I got in my glass right here. Let's see if any of the hardware that I bought will actually make this look halfway decent. Kind of making myself a DIY wiper delete kit. I'm gonna try a couple of different sizes of neoprene washers, and then I got some fender washers I'm gonna maybe put over that, possibly hold it together with some bolts. I also have a couple furniture pads that might end up being a good solution for that too. So we'll see what actually fits. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work, but you know, this is only a few dollars worth of hardware. So on the outside, I'm gonna use one of these neoprene washers. And the next step is gonna be one of these stainless washers, which I'll put right over that. And then finally, my furniture pad. And then I'll run the hardware through the top. Looks pretty good. And then underneath, I will do a combination neoprene washer, and then the stainless steel washer, and then the hardware. Let's see if that actually works. All right, there's what it looks like from the top, and there's what it looks like from the bottom. Okay, so this is not perfect, but it was a really cheap solution to keep water out of the hatch of this car. And I don't have to have a stupid piece of tape on this anymore, which I'm very excited about. Total cost for this project was definitely under $10. Way cheaper than the 30 or 40 that they're charging for the aftermarket plug kits that they have for this. So does it look great? It's okay, I think it's good enough. I think when you have a car that has 400,000 miles, a lot of times you just need to say, yeah, that's good enough. I guess now we should see if this thing's watertight. Good news, seems to be working. All right, I think I'm done with the projects for the day. I'm gonna wash this thing, maybe try to get some of the sap off the car, and then let's try out these new tires. The thing about these wheels versus those basket weaves, phone dials are super easy to clean. So right here is where you can probably see those little stains that I'm not able to get out. So now they make stuff that's like $20, $25 a bottle to take care of that stuff. I'd like to try the cheap stuff before you get all upset, desecrating my Porsche with cheap paint care products. This car has 400,000 miles on it, probably more. It's okay to be a little cheap with this car. All right, let's see. Will this cheap stuff work? Let's find out. It appears as though the answer is no. The cheap stuff does not work on eucalyptus sap. Well, now we know. I thought I'd take a chance on this cheapo bug and tar remover to get rid of that eucalyptus sap, but nope, doesn't come off. Anybody have any suggestions? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's finally drive this thing with these new tires. Totally looking forward to this. this car. Right off the bat, you can tell that these tires have more give, like there's a little bit more sidewall or something. I'm not a tire expert, but they definitely feel a little bit more cushy. That's a technical term, cushy. They still have a ton of grip. Now the whole idea of switching to these tires, of course, is because I want them to last a little bit longer. Those Kumos that I had on this car were amazing. They did like to be warm. They would do kind of unexpected things if they were cold. That was the only thing I didn't like about those tires. So I'm looking forward to a little bit more of a street tire. Those were very racy. I just couldn't pass up this deal on these Firestone Indies. This is not a sponsored video. This is the first time I'm driving on them. Yeah, these are good. Oh, it's nice to have new tires. It is nice to have new tires. Having a really good set of tires can make a huge difference. Yeah, this is really holding it through these corners. Maybe I'll have to have a tire expert on the show to teach me a thing or two about tires. Can't really give you a technical explanation of what's going on here. I can tell you that they feel more comfortable, but at the same time, 
I don't really feel like I've given up a whole lot in terms of grip. <laughs> this car is great. <laughs> well, I think that's it for today. Got a few projects done on this old 944 Turbo. Just really little easy things, but as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it's those little things that kind of make the experience a whole lot better. Okay, yeah, tires is not little. Tires is kind of a big investment, but glad that I can finally shut this door without the panel flying open. Glad that the uh, no longer have leaks in the back. And uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll do a couple more videos with this car. Thanks so much for joining me today. We've got more videos coming soon, reviews of used cars, reviews of new cars, more updates on my fleet of 80s and 90s vehicles, and maybe I'll buy something. Who knows? I kind of like to buy cars, so it's very possible I'm going to buy another one. Against all of my better judgment. See you later.